Um, I'm a sculptor, although my work is uh, polychromed. Well, actually, it's interest, an interesting story. My cousin worked here in Bell Laboratories. So before this was um, set up, she called me, she said, Tommy, just want to let you know we're moving out of the building and they're going to turn the building into an artist building. So you should know this, you know. And uh, so I, I, I guess I knew about the building before it hit the New York Times, before the, the, the regular press uh, knew about it, you know. So I was sort of like tipped off a little bit, you know, by my cousin. I raised my family here. I mean, that was a wonderful experience. Uh, I've done, I mean, I've lived here 40 years. So the bulk of my uh, artwork has been created here. So that's, that's a very exciting um, thing for me, you know. It was just, I mean, my kids used to call this place deathbed <laughs> instead of West Beth. <laughs> You know, strangers would just walk into the building, go upstairs, and jump off the roof. You know, they didn't even live here. You know. And uh, you know, there were a number of people that lived here that committed suicide, and it just seemed to be happening. It, it seemed to happen very early. It really, it really affected my kids. I mean, one of my girls, someone jumped right in front of her and exploded right in front of her. You know, I mean, she, you know, she was. 11 years old or whatever, and was totally traumatized by that. And I was very, very angry that something like that had to happen to my kid, you know. It can get kind of a little hairy sometimes when you're in the hall or something and there's 10 personalities who think they're the greatest artists in the world and, you know, the, they just get like a little narcissistic or something, you know. So that would be the downside of, of living in, in, in this building. I, I wanted to publicly acknowledge to uh, Joan Davidson and to Joe Kaplan, the Kaplan Fund, you know, my gratitude and thanks for all they did, even if it's 40 years later. But it was something that I, I never wavered from, that I really appreciated their efforts in the beginning. Uh, because he gave the seed money for the, for the grant for this building, and, and then Joan kind of followed it up, you know, probably took a lot of abuse from a lot of people here with the, when, when they start having rent strikes and all that stuff, you know. But uh, now I've always been extremely grateful to them for, for doing it, you know.